Hi everyone. This video is um, maybe clusters. I don't know. I found this bit of fabric. Uh, I think somebody gave it me from. I think it was from some flowers in a bouquet that they'd had, and this was these were wrapped. But it has got, as you can see, the most gorgeous shimmer in it, which is just perfect for the peacock journal. I have also put together, which I always do, um, a little box of all bits that go with the theme of the journal I'm making. So this has got some sparklies in it, little swim bag. Some bits of fabric in the colours. I'm sorry, the builders are still here. Um, and some lace. There's some buttons there that are in a, you can see, like a tealy colour with some purple running through it. Here I have these small plumage feathers from peacock feathers, you can see the colours on the, the ends of those are just rather than the full peacock feathers, which I have two of, which I have got an idea for one of those to incorporate in my journal. And I've got some of the baby white flowers that I made a long time ago. Some other little Flowers. I've got broken jewellery, beads, and there's some navy flower, uh, flowers, feathers there. Uh, I've got crystals. I've got another bit of crystals here with all colours and jewels. Um, I've got these little crochet corners that my friend Julie Sharp made. They're absolutely gorgeous. She hand crochets these. They're absolutely beautiful. So I might incorporate those into it somewhere. And these are some little lace bobbins that she also sent to me. So I might use one of those on the on the spine dangle. And then I've got various beads and jewellery. And I found these little they're so cute, these are some tiny, tiny little glass bottles with a cork top so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to wrap some thread around there and maybe put some I don't know some sparkles or something with the colours of a peacock in there and hang that as a uh, as a dangle I think they are so cute so going back I found this bit of fabric and I thought okay I could make some little clusters or some dangles or something. I think it's going to have to be cluster today because I don't know where all my bits are to make dangles with offhand. Oh, I could decorate a little glassine bag. I've also got some that I've embossed here in here. So it's not. So there's an embossed one that I've put some uh, gilding paste on. It's uh, another one some flowers on I'll just use my embossing folder on that so what we could do is we could decorate a couple of those to use it in the journal and also um, we can make a little cluster let's just see what I've got around me because like I said my stuff is everywhere I've got some little pearls there uh, put some little flowers I'm just seeing what I have at hand. Okay, so I've got some little silky flowers there which we can colour up. Some little pearl, plastic flowers. Okay, we've got possibilities here. So I'll just see what I've got in my stash. That's all quite vintagey stuff that I haven't already made, and I don't really want to put vintagey stuff in here. It's not really that kind of journal I don't think okay let's make a start anyway so I've got to start by using a piece of this because I just think it's gorgeous I'm gonna grab my scissors 
Um, let's just cut a cut a little piece of it off. I think I'm gonna make a I don't know, let's make a cluster. It's, it's so pretty. I've also got a ribbon and this was off some flowers too which is a goldy coloured web. I think I'm going to use a piece of that as well because that is gorgeous. Okay, so let's see. What I could do on one of these plain glassine bags is do a cluster on the front of it. I don't know, how does ink go on these? Does it? I'm not sure. I've never done it. Let's, let's have a look and find out. Experiment together. Try an oxide, perhaps. Put it the right way, right? Okay, it's leaking. Is it going to dry on it or is it just going to sit on it? That's what I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let's do a bit of a back base colour for the. What's wrong with me? I never ever like glitter and I've gone glitter mad at the moment. Sparkles and glitter. Not like me at all. I put this black mat on there so that you can actually see what I was doing. Um, so you couldn't really see. Let's have a look. Did I rub off? No, I think that's quite good actually. It's don't want it to rub off if I use it. No, that's good. That's stayed. Okay, I better do both sides. So, because this is probably going to be able to be taken out, or I might stick it down. I don't know yet. Just this is the most unplanned I've ever been doing a journal. I have no idea. I'm just sitting down and doing stuff and making videos while I do it. We know now sticks on the edges so I think let's let's make a cluster with bits and bobs why not a bit of teal <clears throat> we can put more sparkles on and the possibilities are endless right now Feeling very excited. So I'm trying to keep with all the peacocky colours. Don't really want purple because we've got purple now. Let's okay. Let's go with that. I've got loads of little bits to work with there. That ink has leaked everywhere, and I think. May incorporate, incorporate rather, sorry, one of these little feathers because the colours on there are just so beautiful. It's too big, isn't it? Does this tear? No. Okay, let's maybe start with. That sit up on there, I think. Let's go that way. I could probably just cut some off there, I think. I don't want too much of that brown on. Let's give that a snip. That's better. Okay. I'm going to put 
that underneath there, I think. We'll frame that on there. I'll do that at an angle. That angle. I'll lift that a bit more. How's it look? like that. Now uh, what about, uh, what have we got in the box? I could maybe then on there pop something like that to hold that in place. Uh, and then maybe just edge this with something. I quite like that simplicity of it. I don't want to put too much on. I just let go of that. How does that look? You can't see. I do apologise. There. Quite like that. Okay. I think I'm going to stick with that there. Let's bring you back. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So what am I going to stick it down with? This is the thing. I think I'm going to use fabric tape because I don't want any of these bits to come off later down the line. So I'm going to pop a bit on there like so. I'm going to put this one, we said it's going up there like that. This going across there like that. Okay, I'll stick it nicely. Then I'm not going to stick all of the feather down fully, I'm going to stick the bottom down so that it's free to move about at the top. So I'll just put a bit of glue on the bottom and then I'll Place that on there and press it down. Hope it doesn't stick to me too much. Try not to get glue on these little downy pieces. And then I'm going to pop the glue straight onto my little glittery bead. What do you call it? I don't know what you call that. It'll stick on. I'm just going to hold that down for a second and that will keep the feather in place. Let that take. Do my little glassine bag. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of the dark blue uh, Buffet polish. And just, I might use a, try and use one of these brushes. I've got one for blue. It's bluish. Let's, let's have a look and see if it... Go around to the very edges of this. Oh, the clues come through. So I'll stick the feather down there. Oh, yeah. So I did 
don't really want it to stick to the top of the feather now. Just pull that off gently. Bear with me. Okay, so that little bit of feather there is stuck. There. If we can get a bit of glue off. Just there we go. Just think it looks nicer when they'll just have some freedom of movement. There. That's better. Okay. So back to where I was. Just using that buffet just I wonder if it'd be easier to do it like that, actually. Around the... Uh, this camera is really out of frame today, isn't it? Let me move it back a bit. There. Is that better? Well, that's better. Yeah. I'm going to sit it down and just do circular. It's quite dried out, this... Uh, Blue buffet. That's better. I think it just needed that edging. Okay, that makes the colours pop a bit more now. Okay, so that's our little glassine bag, and that can be used in the Peacock Journal. I'll probably put a little bit, a few little tickets or bits of ephemera in there. That is really lovely. I like that. I really need to get that little bit of feather out there. That is going to really annoy me. And now I can't find my needle. No, it's gone. I shall have to sort it later. This has got one little bit that's sticking down. and go behind the others. Oh, there we go. There. So that's that finished. I've probably just got time to do. I've got some of these little paper flowers. They're from the works over in the UK. I get a lot of my little crappy bits from there. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to decorate just some, well, colour them with some inks. my glue which I never ever remember to do. I have a new bottle so I don't want to lose any. So let's get the brushes out. See what we've got. Right, I think we'll do a bit of purple thing with a purple brush at hand. I think what I'll do I'm going, I'm going to make a little quite a few of these and then do um, a little, oh, perhaps on, um, uh, where are my words today, on a, a tag, I've got a load of tags somewhere that I got out yesterday, um, and then do a little cluster of peacock coloured flowers on a tag. I think that'd be quite pretty. So if we do do some some purpley ones. Let's do one more purpley one. This one's very purple. And then if I do some in peacock feathers, let's put the lid back on there. I don't know why that 
wilted violet. It leaks. It always has since I've had it. It gets so messy around the edges. I get covered in it. Uh, okay, let's do some peacock feathers now. I could do like a little flower arrangement on it. Maybe do some little stems. That'll be my next video. So it'll be a peacock themed tag. Let's call it that. And then I want to do some blue, perhaps. Let's see what blues have we got. I've got a dark blue somewhere, but again, I don't know where anything is. It really wants to be a bit darker than this blue. That's to do. do one or two in mode lawn I think. Where's the rest of the flowers gone? Here we go. Not more. Uh, we could use some little mini crystals as well on the on the tags. One more of those. <clears throat> and let's find the green, I think. There, that green is so gorgeous. These are the little flowers then that I've got ready um, for my next video, which will be um, tags. I'll make some tags using these with some uh, little peacock coloured feathers and some sparklies as well, I think. I might add a, one or two images of peacock on there too. Okay, so there are flowers done and ready. And... already lost it. The little envelope that we've made has gone. There it is, I found it. <laughs> and that's the little glassine envelope that we've done today. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching with me. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye.